Okay, this is part three of the paper doll series. And I think at the end of part two, I had all of my dolls laid out like I wanted them. And all I had to do was uh, trim them up and glue them together. Right? I think that's right. Um, okay, so I've done that. Um, let me show you first what glue I use. You, I use several different glues. It just depends on what I'm doing with them. So, you know, use use what you're comfortable with. You can use a wet glue. You can use a dry glue, you know, like a, a tape runner or a glue stick or really anything. My go-to glue for... Well, look. It's got stick to it. I mean, it's gross. It's awful. But it's because I use it all the time. I have a bottle in, like, every room in the house. But my go-to glue for paper on paper is Tombow's Mono Multi Liquid Glue. And you can get it at the craft stores. Um, you can get it on Amazon. I think it's maybe five dollars for the little thing. And it has a fine tip on this end. And then it has a wider little applicator on this end. It, it's a wet glue but it's one of the driest wet glues I've ever used, if that makes sense. It dries tacky, really, really sticky. So if you're doing any kind of like foiling or gold leaf or, or um, you know, powdered pigments, it's really great for that because when it's completely dry, it's still sticky. That can also be a downside because if you're gluing stuff and you get it somewhere it's not supposed to be, it's going to stick forever. And what I usually do, I have a little, I didn't bring it, but I have a little pan of uh, cornstarch baby powder and a little brush that if I get a sticky spot on something, I just sweep that over it and the sticky goes away. I also have a, a, a sticky remover. It looks like an eraser that works pretty good. So um, super sticky Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Glue, really good for adhering papers and it's because it, it, it is, you know, it, it's really sticky and it dries fast. It doesn't buckle paper um, at all, really. So that's what I predominantly use. Now, if I've got, you know, fabrics going, I'll use a fabric glue. I like that one from Beacon that I, I can't remember the name of it. Fabritac? Fabric? Or something. Anyway, it's the Beacon brand fabric glue. Um, I use, sometimes I use plain old scotch tape. If I got a, you know, if I'm doing a sash or something around the waist and I just need to hold it together, I'll just slap a piece of tape on there. Uh, I also use a, a glue called GS Hypo Cement. G slash S Hypo Cement. And it is a jewelry glue. It's almost like a super glue for jewelry. But it's, um, it comes in a little tube, and it's got kind of a gel consistency. But the applicator on it, I swear to you, is, is no bigger round than a needle. It's this teeny, tiny little hollow tube. So, I mean, you can put just the tiniest little dots of glue exactly where you need them. So, um, I use that a lot in jewelry making, but I used it for some things on here, too, because I had some little little bitty things to stick on. So, that's it for glues. Let's look at some dolls. And I don't think any of them <laughs> ended up turning out the way that um, <laughs> they were at the end of the last video. But they're pretty close. Except maybe this one. Remember this girl? Remember the big girl here? I had her kind of doing that and that and had a, had a maybe hat on her. Yeah, I could not get inspired to finish her. She was just not um, not really exciting me. So I abandoned her. I will just put her back with my supplies and, and we will um, resurrect her at another day. And I'll show you these two right quick. There were some from that I had before, some of my older dolls that I'd made. And I was just putting funny muscle arms on them. I can't tell if I have enough light. I think I do. So they didn't change much. I put a hat 
on her. You know, I trimmed the arms up and got them positioned just right. You know, you always want to try to match the your body shoulders to your arm shoulders. So did best I could there. And then I found this horribly tacky hat that I put on her. And I don't know if you can see, but she's got a tiny little dot of uh, sparkly glitter glue right there for an earring. So that's all I did for her. She's still not finished. She needs some more stuff, but um, she's good for now. So I'll put her back in the bin to finish another day. And this one too, she really just needs some accessories. And then I forgot to trim. Don't forget to trim between the legs. That is so important. That just really, um, you know, that, that just frustrates me so much when I forget. Um, so, uh, yeah, I've got her trim between her legs, and then her dress just needs some embellishment, I think. But I had to, um, and this guy, I had to, like, completely cut him apart and turn his arms so that they would be right with her body. But it worked, and I really like it. She already had the little mask, and then I put these earrings on her. And I don't really know if you can tell what they are. They are some uh, uh, vintage rhinestones in brass mounts. So they've got a little brass uh, fitting that the rhinestone is already mounted into. So, you know, on these you really need uh, jewels with a flat back, not the pointy back, because it'll poke a hole and it won't lay right. So um, these work perfect if you have some of those. And this, it's these little things, that's what I use that GS Hypo Cement for. So she's going to go back in the bin for another day. Let's look, okay, let's look at these girls. Because I completely changed these three girls. Remember them? They actually had half bodies. And I chose their little clothes and legs and everything, intending to keep their half bodies intact. You know, use them the way they were. Okay, it didn't work out. The clothing was not fitting right. You know, in order to get the waist small enough, I had to cut in. But then, you know, her own waist was out here, so there, it, it, it just it wasn't right. It just was not happening. So, I just ended up cutting all their heads off. Except for this one, she got to keep her uh, neck and chest see right there but she had to lose her arms her arms didn't work and these little awful arms look how pale and skinny they are especially compared to her natural color but you know whatever I found them I had them I stuck them on you know they they fit right so she does have arms she just has weird little skinny arms and um let me see. Did I change her clothes? I can't remember. I'm going to have to refer back to my picture right quick. I think I did because she was wearing a different... Yes. She was wearing the music dress. I decided I didn't like the music dress on her because it washed her out. It was just not a good color on her. So I changed to the sparkly dress and then... And it was a little bit bigger than the other dress that I had chosen for her, you know, when she still had more of her body. So because of it, her the black and white legs I had for her just didn't work. They were too skinny. So I switched and gave her these legs. So she's got new legs, new dress, uh, you know, changed her body, cut off her arms, and she had the most horrible hair. Look at that. It, she looks like a cone head. And that was, that was her real hair in that picture. And, you know, her stylist probably told her that looked good. I feel bad for her because it didn't. So I covered it up for her, and I love this hat. This hat is fabulous, and I, I don't know how well you can see. It was tedious to cut out, but that is how strongly I felt about covering her awful hairdo. <laughs> I was willing to go through all of that fussy cutting in order to hide her heinous hair. So she should really thank me. And then she has also got, what are those? Yeah, they're kind of smudged right now. Okay, she's got little um, glitter glue, tiny little glitter glue dots in her ears for earrings. Because, you know, on that, that size, it's really hard to, I didn't have any flat back stones that were small enough. 
and the ones that I had were a little bit too big and I put them up there you know and that it looked like they were in her cheek like she had cheek piercings and that that wasn't really the look we were going for so she is complete and I think lovely and I had even considered doing a fashion show, you know, where I would like walk them out the runway and turn and turn and, you know, and then walk back. But I decided it was too much effort. But I did entertain myself for quite a while just <laughs> pretending that I was going to do that. <laughs> okay. These girls. This girl, let's see, she, she kept her same dress. I ended up having to get rid of her body because it did not work with the dress. So I gave her one of those little dress form bodies and, you know, she had to lose her neck because the dress form has a neck of its own, but she got to keep her same legs and I don't think she needs arms. I'm good with her without arms. You know, she's one of my, one of my special armless girls. And then I found this little witch hat that perches perfectly right on her head and she has a tiny little uh, gold uh, glue, glitter glue earring. So I think she turned out quite lovely as well. And this girl, I know I had her in kind of a pretty pale dress and then those uh, those rainbow striped stockings, but mm -hmm, had to change her too. So again, her body was not working with the dress and I just wasn't in the mood to you know, print out a completely different dress and a different size for her, I'm trying to use what I had. So I had this body, and it's the kind, you know, it had the little uh, wire cage part at the bottom. I just whacked that off, and I saved it, because it would make a cute hat. Um, so anyway, I did that. I put those little pink legs on her, and then gave her that top hat. And I really think she, she needs something. I'm not sure what. Um, Maybe something around her waist. She needs some more details. I'm not sure what, but um, you know she's good for now. And you'll you may be able to tell that adding the little embellishments and details is not the fun part of this for me. The fun part for me is the assembling all the parts and pieces. You know, it's it's the mad scientist switch that head with that one and these legs and and you know a different dress and that's the part that I like I like the assembly part but when it comes to the okay they're already assembled now let's give them some accessories and decorate them I don't want to do that if you want to do that I think you should if you're into the whole you know lace and and tiny pearls and prima flower things and you want to just gunk it all over them then I say go for it you should um, personally I'm when it comes to paper dolls I'm a little more minimalist or, or lazy you know whichever word you prefer it's okay all right and I had these bodies that I cut out they were full bodies full magazine but well she didn't have legs but um, she worked out just just the way I kind of thought she would. I gave her her little stocking feet and put her shoes on her. Made sure to cut out these little areas that I nearly overlooked. Her waist looked a little high, I think, because of the shoes. So I, I gave her a little lace belt thing to kind of pull the waist down a little bit. And she's wearing a crown that has some uh, glitter glue accents on it. And then these are two tiny little plastic uh, cabochon, you know, crystal cabochons for her earrings. And they're almost too big. They almost look like cheek piercings, but you know what? That's okay. So there she is. And then this one. Um, I ended up cutting her off quite a bit. You know, she had she had quite a bit of excess on her. I cut off a little bit there, and then I even trimmed her up even more than she already was, which seemed like a horrible thing to do because little things are already so skinny. But I had to to get her little skirt to fit right and for it to all you know work out. So that's just a little card. Mm -mm. Here we go again. Scrapbook paper scrap. 
that I used one of the templates on and and look at on part two I did find several of the websites that I used for the clothes templates and I, I put them in the video description so you can go there and snag you a bunch of templates for that um, so did that um, she needed a little accent in her waist so that's some of those plastic pearl you know beady things and um, on her legs I put some glitter glue and some little sea pearl things and then that's another vintage uh, glass rhinestone that's in a brass fitting and this is some uh, what do you call that rhinestone rhinestone chain I think is what it's called I just a little short piece so I stuck it there and made her necklace and of course I think that her pilgrim hat just tops it all off perfectly so those two girls came out great and I, I don't think I would add a single thing to either of them I like them just like they are okay these two were my kind of weird ones I think I started with the body on both of them instead of the head and I'm liking them. Uh, okay, this is the little homely woman, and you know she's just got her plain dress form body and her JLo legs. Remember, and I did trim between, and I put a little uh, sequin thing there, and her wings, and I had I just went all over the place on hats for her. She definitely needed a hat or something because her head's just awful. But I couldn't find a hat that I really liked. I had tons that would work. I'm just tired of them. I'm tired of the same hats. So I, um, when I got some of the little seed pearls out for that uh, other doll, I also had a piece of, you know, a little flower off of a piece of lace from a wedding dress. So I just put that in her hair. And then she's got another rhinestone. Uh, uh, mounted in a little brass fitting for an earring. So I think she looks quite lovely. This girl, this girl needs something. Um, I like her dress. I gave her, I don't know if you can see the sparkly, there's just a few random sparkly um, glitter glue accents on her dress. And this, this up around the bodice part, okay, here's what happened. Let me tell you what happened. You remember this girl? Her body was black to begin with, and which looked great, you know, contrasted with the dress really well. Okay, I go to put her together and I put glue at the on the back of the dress around the top and then, you know, brain dead as I was, her head wasn't on, I just had the body. I stuck it all the way up here. That's where I glued the dress and I held it back immediately realized my mistake but you know thanks to Tombow mono multi liquid glue it had almost started to to dry and stick beyond pulling off so you know I yanked it off but you can't get rid of this <laughs> once it's on there uh, you know you can't take a little water and uh -uh, it's there and it is sticky forever and I knew um, you know it it was on the black cardstock so it left kind of a shiny trail you could see it it was not pretty um, so I knew I was going to have to cover it and I decided um, since I'd already you know messed it up with the sticky glue I just put the sticky glue over the whole thing and then I had some scraps of some gold leaf papers so I gold leafed her body and uh, then put her dress on and when I did get her dress glued on correctly there just wasn't enough of a contrast between the body and the dress so I used these little tiny they're plastic uh, cabochons they're kind of a gray color I just used those to kind of accent the the top edge of her dress and and break it up so there she is I like her I like the dress I like the body I like the head I like the hat she had wings, those colorful rainbow wings. I decided I did not like those wings once I changed her body to the, the gold leaf. The, le the wings weren't working for me. So I may try to find her a better pair of wings to go. Um, either that 
or some muscle arms. <laughs> either way. <laughs> I either want fairy wings or muscle arms. Okay. So, yep, there's those two. And these are the last, last three girls coming down the runway. This girl, this one, and that one. And I don't know that they changed a ton, except for maybe just their accessories. Let me check my picture to make sure. Um, yeah, she's, she's still good. That's what I chose for her. Okay. She changed a little bit. Okay, here's what I did. Let's start, let's start with this one. Um, I left her body plain. Uh, I liked the, the contrast between the, you know, the body and the dress. She has her little heart arms in the back. Her dress fit great. Legs cut out really nice. I put a little piece of trim down here just because I had it. It, you know, it doesn't match. It doesn't make sense, and I don't care. I like it. So that's just a little piece of ribbon. And then I put a piece of, this is that organza ribbon, around her waist for like a belt. And then I had these three weird little, you know, you know, those little rose things that I stuck on there for an accent. And she has got glitter glue, tiny dots of glitter glue for earrings. And her necklace is a larger vintage rhinestone with a brass mount. And I just glued, or maybe I taped. I think I glued it and then taped over the glue. But it's just a piece of chain that I cut. I have a whole bunch of jewelry stuff. So I cut her a piece of, that's an actual necklace chain. And then just used my hypo cement stuff to secure it all right there so that it hangs like a necklace. So see, she's got necklace and earrings and the works. So she turned out really cute. I like her. Okay, Frida. Frida's body was plain to begin with. And um, what I ended up doing, I just had a couple of rubber stamps laying around. So I just stamped on her body real quick. I wasn't really liking the way her dress, you know, this shirt was a little bit longer and I wasn't really liking the way it was fitting her. So I ended up trimming her her body out and then giving her some heart-shaped arms. And I did her petal skirt like I showed you, like I would planned to, and that turned out really, really cute. And then I just put a piece of black lace in between for a for a belt. You almost always, when you have a shirt skirt combination, you really need something in between to break them up because they just, they kind of don't make sense if you don't. Um, I had this little mask that fit her eyeballs just perfectly and everything I put in her ear looked stupid so I didn't give her an earring. Could not find a hat that I liked for her. Um, I had the, I think a sombrero but once I started getting her put together, I didn't like it. So that's just a little die-cut flower that I stuck on there. I need to find something interesting to put in the center. I might put around one of those, maybe, in the center. But, um, yeah, I like her. Other than that, I think she's done, and she turned out great. And I love a little petal skirt like that. I'm going to do more of those. Oh, I was going to leave these here so you can stare at them while I'm talking. And then this girl... Last one, and let me see what I changed about her, because she did have a couple of changes. Um, oh, yeah. oh, yeah, I remember now. Okay, I axed the hat. I decided I liked the flowers. So no hat for her, but she got a mask. Um, her body is I believe it's the same that I had last time but I just took a piece of decorative scrapbook paper and covered it because it was the one of those plain bodies so you know that gave it a little bit more interest and then I cut out her arms and got those positioned fairly right and I did okay in the last video I had it revert this is the same piece of cards or uh, scrapbook paper it's just you know the other side and in the last video I think I had the cream color one 
had this turn for the cream color one and then this one the other way. And of course I didn't realize until I had it glued down and dried that I switched them. Not a big deal, but once I realized it, it, it just threw me off. I'm like, it, it doesn't matter, but just because I did it and wasn't didn't mean to and it wasn't like the other one, then I was just all I was just all weird. Okay, it's strange. I can't explain it. But it's fine. It doesn't really matter. I think it turned out cute. And she just had a lot of dress space here because it's, you know, she had big legs. It had to be long to cover. So um, I put, this is just dots of glitter glue all around there and around her neckline here. And then a little piece of silk uh, ribbon for the belt or sash or whatever with some black in between. This flower, its only reason for being there is because when I got her all cut out and trimmed and I'd already glued the arms on, those kind of went at the beginning, I realized this arm is okay. It, it does look like that it's reaching behind her. This one is way short. <laughs> She's just got a stump, and it ends right out here, and there was nothing I could do about it. <laughs> so I contemplated making her a little purse, you know, so uh, with a strap over her shoulder, and the purse would just sit right there to hide it. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> so that's when I came up with the big flower, so it looks like a, like a sash or whatever. But really all it's doing is just covering her stump. <laughs> so, all right. See, sometimes you think they're going to turn out and work out, and you think you've got it worked out, but then you actually start to put them together, oh, it just goes all to hell. <laughs> Everything changes. So, but anyway, I do like the way she turned out. I think she's cute, and she's wearing black shoes, so, you know, the black doesn't, isn't totally confusing. And I did the same with her. This, her stone is just a larger, one of those plastic cabochons. It's, it's not a stone. But I just stuck it down there, and then that is a small piece of a, a what is that, box chain is what that is that I put on there. And, you know, my dolls, 99% of the time, they're going to be glued to a journal page or a you know a card or something they're going to be on some kind of sturdy backing so they're fine like they are because they're flimsy especially their little magazine parts they're really flimsy but that's okay because they'll be glued down and they're fine if I wanted to use them as dolls if I wanted to stand them up you know and display them or or play with them and you know so that they go to parties and well then I would probably back them with cardstock you know, it's an extra step. It's more tedious cutting, but you would kind of have to do that if that's what you wanted. So, there you have way more than anyone ever needed to know about my um, strange fascination with um, steroid pumped up paper dolls. Yeah. Um, so now all I have to do is just uh, pick out the ones that I want to do for my um, swap this month and make sure they're appropriately dressed and, and accessorized and then get that done. So I'm in good shape. Um, that's all I have for now. I am getting ready for my local Houston YouTube friends to come to my house on Saturday. So, um, I, don't, I don't know that I'll do any more videos between now and then. Um, and I really don't have a lot to do. I just, you know, we want to make something, and I've got a book or a little journal thing in mind, and I just have to finish kind of fleshing out the design. And my daughter was asking me what I was doing the other day, and I said, well, you know, I'm having some friends over Saturday, and we're going to make uh, something, and I'm trying to figure out what. And she goes, you don't know what you're doing? And I said, well, no, I, I will by Saturday. I'll have a plan. And she goes, oh, my gosh, that is so wrong. I would already have it planned out, typed up, emailed out with printouts and color illustrations and everything. And, you know, depending on the day, I might too. But it wasn't that day. On that day, I didn't have a plan, and I was good with it. I have a little bit more of a plan now, but it's still not fleshed out. 
but that's okay because you know it's just fun it's not not like they're paying for a class and have expectations i hope they don't have expectations surely they don't we're just going to have fun um so if you are in live in the houston area you want to come by send me a note um, if you can't come and stay and make something with us, but you're out and about and you just want to come say hi, you can drop in. It's fine. I'll send you my address, whatever. So until then, that's all I have. So now um, everybody go start collecting um, people parts and severed heads so you can make some paper dolls because that's not weird at all. Mm -mm. The end.